I was thinking of like an intro I could do for when I come back, but I couldn't think of one. So hello and welcome back to another video, guys. It's been a month. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I've had a very nice month off YouTube. I've been busy. I've kept myself busy and just enjoying some more free time, I guess. Um, I went to Liverpool for a trip with some friends and we done some we had we had a lot of fun i got to do a lot of beatles related stuff because i love the beatles blah 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 um and yeah been keeping myself busy with work playing a lot of playstation going to the cinema a lot watching a lot of tv um but yeah i'm i'm very ready to come back so here we are new video i hope everyone else has been well for a start um throughout August. Um, I've got a lot to come back and talk about. Um, of course, I have my end of the month video on all the movies I've been watching, which um, I will be doing at some point this week. Um, it might be a little bit later than normal. I want to review Blue Beetle because I've reviewed every other DC movie here on this channel. Um, and I've got a few other videos in mind. I've also got a bit of subscriber mail here, which I still haven't opened because I've been waiting. I've had this in my room for like nearly two weeks now um, and I've been waiting to open it for my YouTube return. Because I didn't want to do it off camera. I want to open it here on YouTube and show my appreciation. So I'm going to also film that later today or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I thought video to come back on. Let's do pickups. Things I've bought um, in my time away from YouTube. Um, so I've got, I haven't got as much as I normally have. Because, it, 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 you know, I just thought, you know, just come back and we just... I, I didn't want to come back and just say, here's the films I've watched. I thought, what a boring first video back. Um, I haven't got loads, but I've got a good mixture of some F1 stuff again. Sorry, I know it's not everyone's favourite thing. I've got some Blu-rays, a couple art books, and one record. So first up, I'm going to do the F1 stuff, because I know it's not to everyone's cup of tea. First up, I got this hat. Bought this hat, because it's the hat Lewis Hamilton was wearing when he got his um, first podium um, in the last two seasons. Um, and it was at the race I was at in Hungary. Um, so I couldn't resist. I love it. I, I feel it's great. Love the colour. I love these Mercedes hats this year with the patterns on. They look great. And of course, you know, you've got you've got your monster logo on the bottom there. And you've got all your other bits and bobs around the hat. Um, I also got, actually, I forgot to pull this out. One sec, I'm going off camera here. Um, because I also bought with it this absolutely hideous shirt. But I love it. I should have worn it for the video. Um, a Mercedes shirt because it was on the summer sale. Um, so yeah, also bought this. Um, I didn't want to pay full price for it because it's really bright. Um, <laughs> so I waited for the summer sale and I got it a bit cheaper. And I got it with the hat. Um, I also picked up the new Formula One game, F1 2023. Um, I'm currently eight, seven races into my season. Struggling with it a bit, I'm not going to lie. It's a it's a much harder game than the previous one, but um, it's it's definitely an improvement, obviously, um, and it's really good fun. And, you know, he's on the cover. Um, and I also picked up two F1 Blu-rays. Um, these are really cool. I actually didn't know these existed. I just stumbled across them. At the end of every season, they release a Blu-ray, which is about eight hours long, and it recaps the entire season. It shows the highlights from every race weekend so if something interesting happens in practice or to qualify it will show that as well as just the race um if you're an f1 fan and you want to go back and revisit old seasons these are definitely the way to go they're really really cool so this is 2021 because it was the first season of f1 i really started paying attention to probably the most exciting season of f1 as well and then 2022 as well that was 2021 sorry if i got the year wrong i can't remember and here's 2022 because i also watched 2022 i'm just gonna buy the seasons that i've been watching um i just think it's a fun way to you know keep track of my the, the, the f1 i've been watching um so yeah they're about eight hours long each so there's plenty of content there anyway there's the f1 stuff um let's do blu-rays first now the first one up here i might have shown in my last video i can't remember but in case i didn't i'm going to show you again um, the Walking Dead complete box set was so cheaply made and such a poor design, I hated it and I cancelled my pre-order, which meant I didn't buy season 10 and I hadn't bought season 11, um, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to have to buy season 10 now, um, to stay up to date, so here is season 10, The Walking Dead, um, yeah, I've, I've always watched The Walking Dead, I'm actually re-watching the early seasons at the minute, um, so yeah, I've, um, I watched all this live, can't really remember loads about it. I know this was with the Whisperers. Um, and Michonne's last episode is in this season. 
Um, yeah, I thought it was okay. It weren't one of the worst seasons. It definitely weren't one of the best. I mean, the best were all the early seasons, let's be honest. Um, but yeah, so there's 10. Uh, then in Liverpool, I bought... Um, I bought I bought three Blu-rays. So um, the first one up is season eleven on Walking Dead. I actually bought this in CEX on the cheap. I hate this cover, I really do, and I hate the spine as well. We just got what's his name Father Gabriel there, just on the side and his EQ, and it looks really weird on the shelf. Um, they really messed up the release of this final season, um, just with the box set and the very poor artwork and stuff. Um, but anyway, you know that's it. The Walking Dead's done. I really would have liked a nice fancy box set for the whole thing, but you know, you know, we can't we can't always get what we want. Um <laughs> I'd say the Walking Dead's done. It's not really. You've got Dead City at the minute, which I watched and I thought was okay. Um and then there's the Daryl one coming out soon, which I hear is just a rip-off of The Last of Us. Anyway. Um so yeah, there's all my Walking Dead stuff. I also picked up people who watched my last Blu-ray um collection or no, I'm sorry, my last pickups video will notice I showed this thing, and this one more F1 thing, sort of, sorry. Um, but I got an upgrade copy already of the Senna documentary, because this one here has a slip, with a little CEX sticker mark there. Um, but you get two discs in here, this one of the discs is like an extended version of the movie, and you know, it's got slips, so, and it was only 50p, you know, CEX, so cheap on this. Um, it's a great documentary as well. And my other Blu-ray goes to my friend Ryan because he's a big Formula One fan as well. So, yeah, got an upgrade copy on that already. And, you know, probably won't have to upgrade it again unless they bring out, like, a nice 4K. Um, and as I was checking out with those two in this CEX, it was a really small CEX in Liverpool. So I think there were two CEXs in Liverpool, actually, and the bigger one had nothing in that I wanted. The smaller one I actually found all of these in. I was in, like, a little walk-in bit with a load of shops, like, precinct-y bit. Um... And as I was checking out with them, I noticed this behind the counter. And I only saw the cover and I thought, if that's the nice version, I'm going to have to have this. It was £25. I bought, late last year, a set called the Yokai Monster Films. And it came in just thin, flimsy card. from, And it's Arrow Video. And all my Arrow Video sets, see some of them up here. You know, nice hard car they're beautiful sets see that lovely bruce lee one there it was a very lovely set to me um <laughs> and this one was just in thin flimsy car and i was very disappointed with it and it you know even it, it cost a bit of money because the arrow stuff does um and i saw the cover on the shelf behind and i thought oh so i asked the person serving me can i have a look at that set and they brought it down and it is the nice hardback set and with this one, you get the book and the poster. And I think there's some art cards in here, which obviously you don't get with the other version. And uh, the other versions, you know, it's, it's, it's still a hard set to come by. Um, but I couldn't believe that I came by this one for only £25. So, yeah, this is the hardback version. And I, I watched all of these movies when I bought the set. You know, I tried to do that whenever I buy a movie. I don't like buying films for the sake of it. I like to always watch them. And I really enjoyed the original three movies in here. Um, you know, they're cheesy. 60s Japanese monster movies um but the original three are really fun the remake I did not enjoy <laughs> um and you know I, I I actually sold my other set to one of my good friends who's just started to collect tarot videos um uh, I had done him a very nice deal on it actually um <laughs> before people going you said it not set Ooh. um but I said to him I said mate look, I'm gonna be honest with you because uh, yeah I don't want to I don't want to just make out and giving you these great movies I really like the original three and I think he will as well but I said the remake just prepare yourself you're not gonna like it it's crap um <laughs> but anyway this set is beautiful so say uh, you've got your nice hardback box there and then inside here we have the original three yokai monsters now these Amore cases are exactly the same as the ones I had before the reversible artwork you've got two discs there the first one um just has the 100 100 monsters on yeah and then the second one has spook warfare and along with ghosts and i'd say i really like these three films if you like your older godzilla movies for example your gamma films your demanding movies um then you'll like these films as well this is the remake uh the great yokai war i did not like this one though <laughs> And, um, yeah, the art cards are... Are they art cards? Yeah, you've, you've got some art cards in this one. Um, 
which I think are, yeah, they're all for the, oh no, they're not all for the new movie, I think there's one for each movie here, so, yeah, I think this is the second film, um, oh, here you go, so on the back it actually has um, the original poster, um, so then this is the third film, pretty sure, and there's the original poster, I haven't actually looked at this set since I bought it, to be honest. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the first one. The the um, Umbrella Monster. Very, very wacky and weird. Um, and then this is the Great Yokai War one. Um, and as you can see, you've got a very basic post there on the back with that one. Um, but yeah, so the art cards are nice. It's, it's a beautiful set, I've got to say. I'm so happy I picked this up. Because I, I really quite enjoyed these films. Um... And I was always very disappointed with the set I had of it. You've got a nice fold out here. All the monsters. But then if you want to read about them, you can flip it around the other side. And it has some text about each monster. And a book. As you always get with the nice arrows. You know, lots of information, some nice photos. Very, very cool. Um, so yeah, really, really happy with that set. It actually might be my favourite purchase of everything I've got to show today. Um... Yeah, they're just very fun movies. I just really enjoyed these. And it was nice to just... It's always nice to get an upgrade of something you really like. So, yeah. Very, very happy with that. Especially at the price. And then I also bought in Liverpool. This was on a separate day. I went into HMV. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little something here. I'm going to take that off for a minute. I picked up Fear the Walking Dead Season 7. Because I got every other season and watched it all. I know. I, I'm that up to date with The Walking Dead. I actually genuinely have watched... The only thing I haven't watched from The Walking Dead is that Tales of The Walking Dead. I have watched World Beyond as well. Yeah, I know. Some people are looking at me going, sad. Um, I didn't mind season seven. It weren't bad. It weren't great. But this is the first season of Fear The Walking Dead. Really cheap on the artwork. Discs, by the way. Didn't come to slip. So I messaged my very good friend, Tin and Sonic, who always helps me out. And he very, very kindly made me a lovely slip for it. And... If you're watching, mate, I am very, very grateful. It looks amazing on the shelf. And, yeah, I'm so happy with it. It looks great. And then, of course, he helped me out as well. I'm getting some nice artwork over for um, Secret Invasion. I didn't like this show, to be honest. I thought it was quite bad, um, especially the last episode. I thought it was terrible. But I do have every MCU thing, so I had to get it. Um, yeah, this is a pirate copy, obviously. When they release a proper one, I will upgrade and buy it. I pay for my Disney Plus before people start moaning at me, going, ooh, you know, buying pirate copies, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, I'll put it in a 4K case as well, and uh, there is the disc. So, yeah, Secret Invasion. One of the weaker MCU things. Not very good at all, to be honest, but, hey, it's there for the collection. And the slip looks lovely, though. It looks great on the shelf. Um, right. It's all Marvel from here, to be honest. I have two art books and a vinyl. Let's do the art books. Spider-Man, No Way Home, finally got its art book. Um, and it's really great. I really love getting these art books. And I think Marvel are trying to do a good job at catching up with the art books now. Because between now and January, there's like seven coming out. So my bank account is about to get absolutely rinsed by these art books. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I've got them all. Um, I'm going to keep up to date with them. Because even when the weaker MCU projects come out, like She-Hulk's got one coming out, for example... I'm sure Secret Invasion to get one. The artwork is still really interesting, even if it's a weaker MCU pro project. I, I really just enjoy looking through and reading about some of the design choices. Um, and yeah, you know, I'm not going to go through all this book, but you know, you get, you get your standard different Spider-Man costumes and stuff that they would have went with. Um, some of the costume designs for like Doc Ock and Green Goblin in here are really interesting. Um, so yeah, there is that. And... Then, also, Eternals. That one came out. I know people don't like this movie, but, um, you know, I'm not the biggest fan on it either. I think it's okay. I don't hate it as much as some. I don't think it's the worst thing in the MCU. Definitely not the best. The artwork is great, though. This is a stunning book to look through. I had a very good time looking through this one. Um, so, yeah, Eternals is in the collection as well. And the final thing I have to show is a Mondo vinyl of... Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Um, and, you know, Mondo always do such a nice job with their vinyls. Um, so I was so thrilled 
for this to come. Um, I don't know if, Mar if Mondo plan on going back and doing all the MCU stuff still, like they did at one point. Um, but, you know, this this was a nice one to get. It's a good soundtrack as well. Sleeve. Um, and the first vinyl is a swirly orange. So I'm going to slide that one back. And the other vinyl. I can't remember if you get any inserts with this one. I don't think you did, actually. No. Um, the other vinyl is a swirly blue. So, yeah, very, very nice. And that's everything that I've picked up while I've been away. I'll say that. A few of them came, I got before I took my break. It's just since the last pickups video, to be honest. Um, there is also another shirt I got, I've just realised, but I won't bother pulling it out. Um, I got a shirt when I went to the Cavern Club in Liverpool because, you know, it's the Cavern Club. I thought I've got to get a little something in there to prove i've been there <laughs> so i bought i bought the cavern club shirt um but yeah there we go that's everything i picked up guys um yeah i'm back i guess now that's it <laughs> and there's a few videos coming this week as i say i gotta i gotta do my end of the month video um i want to review blue beetle and i've got some lovely subscriber mail here to open so there's a fair few videos coming this week and we're gonna be back full in action and yeah I think there's a live stream this week as well. Or maybe it's next week. I can't remember. But um, I will I will look into that. There's live, the live streams will be back. Everything's back and going. And hey, it feels good to be back. Um, apologies, I didn't do like a fun intro or something. I just couldn't think of anything to do. I thought, you know, you guys, you guys don't want that. You just want to... Some people just genuinely enjoy hearing me speak, I think, for some reason. So here we are. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> um guys thank you so much for watching as always it feels good to be back um after a short break um and yeah i look forward to doing the next one so i'll see you all for that very soon thank you for watching see you next time bye bye